Dozens of people came out to show their support for the Ukrainian people and those from Ukraine who live here say that support means a lot. All my family is in Ukraine right now as well. All my friends, people that I love with all my heart. Heartbreak and devastation for Ukrainians like Tanya, watching their homeland under siege. I'm not a religious person, but today I feel like the only thing that can save me is to come here to the church and just pray. Peace and security and safety. She was joined by people from all faiths in Patterson Park Monday night, wanting to do the same thing, pray and light a candle for those affected by the war. I hope and I believe that God will hear our prayers on the behalf of the people who are afflicted by this war, but I also just hope that it, it brings neighbors together. I am proud to be Ukrainian American and I'm proud to stand with my brothers and sisters over here in America. That support was clear. Some who came out have connections to Ukraine. Others just want to send a message around the world. I think a lot of it is solidarity. Uh, you see the world standing in solidarity with Ukraine right now. Uh, and I think it's important for um, all of us to stand with them. That support means everything to Ukrainians like Tanya. She spoke to her mom, dad and grandma before they went to bed Monday night. And she prays she'll be able to speak to them again tomorrow morning to see how the world supports us and how the world supports the, the end of the war. Uh, it's, it's very empowering and it's, it's, I, I can tell like Ukrainian people do feel this support and it's keep, the, keep them going. Organizers say if the war continues, they plan to hold more vigils in the future. In East Baltimore, Kim Day, CWBAL, TV 11 News.